When used wisely, your scientific calculator can be your best friend on the ACT. This trusty tool will save you time and energy, even with mental math. But key in the wrong number and even your bestie can turn into your biggest frenemy. In this lesson, we're going to go over ways to keep that calculator working for you and out of your ACT burn book. Here are some calculator best practices. Calculate numerators and denominators of complicated fractions separately. Use parentheses around negatives and use parentheses around fractions. ACT problems often involve complicated fractions. If the numerator or denominator of a fraction has either multiplication, addition, subtraction, or exponents, you can avoid errors by finding the numerator and denominator separately and then dividing the result using the calculator. Let's look at an example. The expression 5 plus 2 fifths over 1 plus 1 tenth is equal to which of the following? Our answer choices are A, 5 and 1 tenth, B, 5 and a half, C, 54 over 11, D, 55 over 11, or E, 6. So we need to plug the equation from the question stem into our calculator in order to determine its value. Let's start by entering 5 plus 2 fifths. Remember, we need to enter the fraction in parentheses. So 5 plus parenthesis 2 divided by 5 parenthesis. We get 5.4 for our numerator. Now, we need to put the expression 1 plus 1 tenth into the calculator to find our denominator. Keeping parentheses in mind, we enter 1 plus parenthesis 1 divided by 10 parenthesis. We are given 1.1 for our denominator. So, we now have a new equation of 5.4 over 1.1. That looks better than what we started with, but we're not done yet. Now we just need to enter 5.4 divided by 1.1 into the calculator. We get 4.9090 repeating. TI calculators and most other calculators have an inbuilt function to turn this decimal into a fraction. Here, we input the division problem, which gives us the decimal. Then we press second, then answer, then math, then one, and finally enter. This gives us the fraction of 54 over 11. All we need to do now is go over the answer choices to find the correct one. And the winner is answer choice C, 54 over 11. Circle it. Now, let's talk about exponents. Remember that, in the absence of parentheses, only the number or variable that appears immediately before an exponent is affected. Let's look at an equation. Negative 3 squared equals what? In the absence of parentheses, only 3 is squared. Because only 3 comes immediately before the exponent, 2. When you plug this into our calculator, the answer is negative 9. But in this equation, Parenthesis negative 3 squared in parenthesis equals what? Negative 3 is inside the parentheses right before the exponent 2. So negative 3 is being squared. Making sure to use parentheses in the calculator, the answer is 9. Let's apply that concept to an ACT problem that involves negatives. If x equals negative 3, then 2x squared plus 2x plus 6 equals what? Our answer choices are f, negative 18, g, 9, h, 18, j, 36, and k, 72. First, we want to underline the facts. The fact here is x equals negative 3. Then, we want to circle key terms, which is our equation in the question stem. Since x is equal to negative 3, we need to put parentheses around negative 3 in the calculator. So we enter 2, parenthesis, negative 3, parenthesis, squared, plus 2, parenthesis, negative 3, parenthesis, plus 6. We arrive at 18, which is answer choice H. Circle it because it is correct. The final caveat when using the calculator is to remember to put parentheses around fractions. 
So, if you calculate the numerators and denominators of complicated fractions separately and use parentheses around negatives and fractions in your calculator, then your calculator will be your BFF on the ACT.